Hi, I'm Lucy at Viking Arms. I often get asked how it is breeders are steel shot proofed at full choke when most people believe you can't shoot more than a quarter choke. So I have sent Andy and Dave off to the proof house on a mission. Stand out too much, so we're gonna have to wear some new urban camouflage to blend in. Ready to go? Right, Dave, let's get down to Birmingham. Come on, let's go. I'm not proof master. I rely on seeing a mark on that gun that tells me that gun is from safe for me to do whatever I want to do. The gun we brought with us today has CIP proof marks on three quarter and full, or it might be full and extra full, I'll let you measure them. Fixed choke, it says it has the fleur de lis sign, mm. okay, which says it will take high performance steel. I bought some whole high performance cartridges and a brand new gun. So what I want to know now because I think there's a lot of people that doubt it. I'm sat on the fence. I think the first thing is to establish is it, is it genuinely a full choke? And then to, to see whether it can stand up to the rigours of, of service ammunition and, and should you wish it after that, you know, uh, proof ammunition. So we shall see. Hopefully I can go back and see my boss later with a big grin. Because if I go back with a broken gun, I'm gonna have to explain <laughs> how. Hopefully not, hopefully. Hopefully not. Right, let's give it a bash. Now what we're going to do is ball size of them at 9 inch. It's coming up at 18.4. Chase we've got there. The top slightly more than full. Mm -hmm. And the bottom just under. The original proving well, the, the provisional gallery there is from the 1860s. That's the very original. It's very clean and tidy. Oh, yeah. It's cleanish. No, I think it's very clean and tidy. You would have had an inspector firing each of these boots every day, all day. We've got a gallery there, haven't we? Put the safety catch on. What's that, sorry? Put the safety catch on. Yeah. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. Once or twice. Well, certainly on service ammunition, there's no sign of order. Have you got any um, pre power? Proof ammunition, you want to fire proof ammunition. So these are what, about 30% over? 
Uh, roughly 25. It's more about we, we steal ammo, it's the down barrel effect more than the. I've got my ears on you. That's top, that's bottom, sorry. You broke it then, yeah. No, that's bottom. Gotta go over the top. Oh, that's sounded noisy. That sounded a bit pokey, Sam. Yeah, we the real deal. Right, let's go and see if I've got some paperwork to fill out with my boss. <laughs> So not only have we done a volume of service or consumer ammunition, you've now put two, not one, but two proof cartridges in there. Yeah. And you, as the superior European proof master, have given it all, all clear. I am so chuffed with that. That, to me, just shows all those doubting Thomases out there, as we were talking about technology moving on and the way people make barrels, I'm really... I don't know what to say, I'm just chuffed. Well, I think, I think you can uh, safely say it's passed the test. Can't really do any more other than take this gun, let someone shoot it and have many years of enjoyment shooting whatever they want to. Plays, pigeons, geese, anything they want. Sam, again, thank you very much. Well,